Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. <laughs> you know, don't you? You know. Right, I feel that I have to comment on the Tony Bellew tweet that Dale Nichols sent me. <laughs> Tony Bellew is going on about the Dylan White thousand day uh, mandatory situation and, the, and saying that Deontay Wilder has only beat taxi drivers for 800 days so I feel that I have to correct the rimming from Tony Bellew of a matchroom fighter and the whole Sky matchroom bias situation that is now out of control. Let me just shut this window. Uh, that's better. We know a song about that, don't we? <laughs> right. Uh, Go on to the WBC rankings. I'm not going to mess about putting inserts up. I'm just going to tell you straight. Dillian White, 1,000 days ago, right, as somebody sent me, Dale Nichols, I think he sent me a screenshot. Dillian White was ranked number three. Number three by the WBC. Uh, let me just read it out to you. In fact, I'll show you a screenshot. Have a look, where is it? Here we are, I know we're getting closer. Here we go, here we go. Dillian White, ranked number three, Ortiz two, Bermains to Burn number one. That is 1,000 days ago. The champion, Emerus. The champion's Wilder. Emerus champion, Vitaly Klitschko, Ukraine. He won the title January the 17th, 2015. Last defence, February 25th, 2017. I'm assuming that's Wilder. Last compulsory, January the 17th, 2015. WBC Silver Champion, Vacant. WBC International Champion, Dillian White, Jamaica, Great Britain. WBO Champion, Joseph Parker. IBF Champion, Anthony Joshua. Parker, New Zealand, Joshua, GB. Rank number one from Haiti, Canada, Bermains to Burn. Luis Ortiz, number two. Dillian White, number three. Hang on a minute. Can you see that? Can you see that? That is 1,000 days ago. So, Tony Bellew, stop pushing lies. You're pushing constant lies. You're making yourself look stupid. All right? So, now that we've cleared that up, Right, we can move on to the Deontay Wilder, 800 days, he's been fighting cab drivers. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Tony. I'm going to go back 1,501 days. So we're going back over 1,500 days, nearly double the amount of time that you're going on about. You see, this is what happens when you pluck numbers out of the sky and tell lies. Eddie Earn does it on a daily basis. What happens is, it becomes the norm lying we call it fake news so i'm here to correct all the fake news so just listen to this show just listen to this all right going back to 2016 15 of july we've got chris Ariola, right the man who knocked out eric molina quicker than joshua and four year before joshua right chris Ariola, is he a taxi driver he fought for a world title, WBC world title. When Wilder beat him, he were 36 and 4. So Chris Ariola, is that a good defence? I'd say yeah, considering nobody else wanted to fight him. Next one up, undefeated Gerald Washington, right? WBC ranked, just like Stavern. In the top 15, you get, get to fight, don't you? Gerald Washington, he got knocked out, just like everybody else at the time. Then you've got Stavern, a former WBC champion. He knocked him out as well. Then you've got Luis Ortiz, the bogeyman that Tyson Fury didn't want to fight. Go on to Bayloric TV, you'll see an interview where Tyson Fury says, I don't want to fight him because he's in the Who Needs Him Club. Two-time Olympians, big punching Southall, undefeated, knocking everybody out. Wilder wasn't bothered, he fought him, didn't he? And knocked him out. Then you've got Tyson Fury, dropped him twice in a draw. 
Then you've got Dominic Brazil. He were good enough to fight Anthony Joshua. And he were WBC number one or number two at the time. Dominic Brazil knocked him out. Then you've got Luis Ortiz, bogeyman. People demanded the rematch. Big punch in Southpaw, he knocked him out. Then you've got Tyson Fury, who he lost the belt to. He got knocked out himself. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fights going back 1,501 days. I don't see any cab drivers in that, Tony Bell. You do you? I don't see a cab driver in that. Now, Eric Molina, by the time Anthony Joshua got to him, he was a cab driver, wasn't he? Lucas Brown, coming off all that time inactive. Dillian White knocked him out. 40 year old, 20 stone. That's cab driver material. So, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. We're talking about Tony Bellew, by the way, here, who had four pay per views. One more than the great Carl Froch. Four pay per views. Let me just say that again. Let me just roll it off the lips. You know, like the words La Costa Nostra. You know, Adam Bean. Adam, Mr. S Mr. Bean Smith. Four pay-per-views, four, four pay-per-views for Tony, four, that's amazing isn't it? Dillian White's now looking for his six pay-per-view at the end of November, six. Do we see a pattern here? Do we see a pattern? Tony Bellew has two world title wins. He has a British Commonwealth European and a world title belt on his mantelpiece at home, all vacant. Dillian White has a vacant British title at home. He doesn't have a European, he's not fought for a European. He's not world titles back. But yet these people are dictating what happens on social media with boxing. They're putting tweets out and statements with their friendly YouTube friends, their little clicky friends, and it's embarrassing. And these clicky friends are now coming to their rescue. Has anybody seen Sporting Icons tweet that he put out? Nobody's allowed to criticise the great Dillian White. The big dog. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Dillian White's put something out today saying he's not going, he's not going missing or something. How can you go missing after that? You've got to front it out. But really, it's begging, isn't it? Dillian doesn't know if he's going to get this fight with Povetkin. It's not set in stone. Personally, I don't think it happens. I don't think it happens. I think they'll look for another route. I don't think Povetkin's got six rounds in him, to be honest. I mean, I mean, he was staggering about dress dressing room like a hobo afterwards because he had no left in tank. He might take it a bit serious next time, but... If Dylan White loses next time, they'll bring him back again. They'll do an interview on IFL, won't they? Or Boxing Social, they'll bring him back. He's built a career around hype. It's a hype job. Manufactured bullshit. I've got a big problem with the rematch. For the simple reason, why have we got rematch clauses on every match on pay-per-view show? Why is the rematch clauses? Why did Crawler get a rematch against Linares? Why? Why, why couldn't John Ryder have one against Callum Smith? What is it about matchroom fighters that get their asses kicked and then it's all, all fake news to, to hide behind everything? It's shocking, but getting back to the tip before I go off on one here, because I've got 15 videos to do a day, and you're going to get them over the next three days. I am not messing about. No F-U-C-K-S's are given. None. But I just wanted to correct Anthony Bellew, the disappearing man, the man with vacant belts, the man who is the biggest kiss ass at Sky and Matchroom. Anthony Bellew bringing out, putting out statements to his hundreds of thousands of followers that are not true. Dillian White has not been mandatory a thousand days. One thousand days ago, Dillian White was ranked number three. One thousand days ago, rank number three. In that period of time, he's knocked back Pulev in Bulgaria when Eddie Hearn put a purse bid in. The purse bid was won by Universal or whatever they're called. Sorry, not Universal. The purse bid. I forgot the company's name, but I've met them. Me and Peter Fury were were sat with him in Bulgaria. What are the names now? 
Look, it's Pool F's team, right? Pool F's team won the purse bid. $1.6 million. $1.6 million. Eddie Earn at the time had a billion dollars. Billion dollar Eddie. But he couldn't win a purse bid for his guy, Dylan White, to go to Bulgaria. Because Dylan White wants it all on a plate. He wants to name the arena. He wants the judges. He wants to know where every penny's going. I can understand that, Dylan. Point I want to make is, sometimes you've got to come out of your comfort zone. So that's how I look at it. But Dylan White was not mandatory 1,000 days. So you've got all these people like Matthew Macklin, Adam Smith, Joe Gallagher, uh, Darren Barker, Tony Bellew, Johnny Nelson, Adam Smith, all the usual characters, Anna Woolhouse, they're all narrating this fake news story. A thousand days ago, Dylan White were ranked number three. Number three is not mandatory. It's not even number one. So it's definitely not mandatory, is it? Stop it. Stop, stop, stop the fake news. Stop. Dylan White knocked a fight back with Anthony Joshua for over £5 million. It could have been £6 million on the upside if they'd have hit certain numbers. 90,000 people at Wembley, four belts! He's not fought for a European title yet. Crawl out my arsehole, all you haters. And look at the facts. 1,000 days ago, free, number three. The same number three that Carl Froch had in pay-per-views. And he brought pay-per-view back. I feel like Don Logan in Sexy Beast, you know. No, 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 no. I'm not having it. Rank number three. Rank number three. A thousand days ago. And as for Wilder, like I've just said, 1,501 days ago. I've just read all his fights out that he had. Ariola, Washington, Stavern, Ortiz twice, Tyson Fury twice, Dominic Mazeal. They are not taxi drivers. Who's got a better resume than that? Who? Who? That's Joshua. Vladimir have been on set 18 months. Lucas Brown for Dylan White and Parker are his best, best wins. Back up a little bit, Chisora had two points took off him, didn't he? So he had to force the fight and he got knocked out in a fight that he were winning. The referee was shocking. We'll come to that in a bit. Bad refereeing. Look, Dylan White wants all judges, all referees in his pocket. Or they want the favourites in, don't they? That's what they want. He wants to pick the arena, pick the gloves, pick the venue. He wants to dictate. Now, if you can get six pay-per-views, because he'll be going into his six pay-per-view in a few months, and not fight for a European title, is that a record? Is that a record? I think it is, so. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, don't have nightmares. Right, video number two now, I've got 14 to go.